This video is about barista pudding ideas and depending on the origin of the coffee I generally choose lighter roasting levels especially when I am making desserts. To make these recipes unprocessed I also grind wheat in a stone mill and make mascarpone cheese from fresh cream. To me it's about creating the best coffee experience not the fastest or cheapest. I call this collection of recipes as barista puddings because the most important ingredient is coffee and they can be assembled and cooked in a small space like a coffee bar. I have spent a lot of time in coffee shops and avoid the places that serve packaged food from a factory and search out the shops that make their scratch products from local ingredients. I am not talking about ready-baked products when they go from the freezer to a baking pan either. If a coffee shop is buying green coffee beans and roasting the coffee as they advertise locally, why would they resell the freezer baked goods from a multinational food distributor? I like the artisan coffee shops that make everything from scratch, which are hard to find, so this collection of recipe ideas offers artisan alternatives. I am a huge fan of coffee and buy organic green beans and roast them in a small air roaster at home. It's the coffee I drink every day, so for each of my coffee recipes I use the most appropriate brewing method. So for these barista recipes I use espresso, pour over and cold brew. To me artificial coffee flavors taste like poison and recipes that use coffee as the main ingredient do not have to be overly complicated. They can be as simple as espresso affogato, a cold brew coffee recipe turned into slush with an ice cream machine, or adding a sheet of gelatin to a pour over coffee to make a jelly. Some of the more traditional dessert custards like pot de creme and creme caramel can be made with espresso coffee and are easy as well because they can be efficiently cooked in heat circulated water called the sous vide method with little risk of the eggs and the pudding being overcooked. So a small sous vide set up at the bar can be just as useful as an oven. Barista puddings can also be a lot more detailed but not necessarily that complicated depending on your experience level of course. I have over 20 years of experience working with espresso machines and like to challenge myself with new ideas and concepts, so I look at espresso machines a lot differently. A traditional butterscotch self-saucing pudding can be made with fresh espresso and steam roasted to an enjoyable saucy pudding that melts in your mouth. Adding a scoop of soft serve homemade rum raisin gelato melts into the pudding to create a dramatic experience as the gelato melts. This dessert can also be served without unmolding onto a plate and served in the jar it was cooked in too. A sponge pudding can be adjusted for sweetness with ice cream. I like bittersweet chocolate so making a pudding less sweet then adding a scoop of brown sugar gelato to melt into it creates a natural bittersweet contrast because a coffee dessert does not need to be overly sweet to be considered a good dessert and you can substitute a less sweet whipped cream depending on what your guest would like better. Frosting and pudding kind of go together like bread and butter. Most people that are into coffee desserts will know what tiramisu is. My version of tiramisu uses brown butter madeleine cakes soaked in freshly extracted espresso coffee instead of your traditional boxed lady fingers out of a package and homemade mascarpone cheese. The less dense pudding cake can also be served with mascarpone frosting or a sweetened whipped cream. Since we go through the effort of creating the best barista puddings possible, spending a little bit more effort adding decorations is the easy part. In my opinion, taking the time to open a jar of sauce or a package of cookies to decorate a dessert is not time well spent. Why go through the trouble of adding the best coffee we can when it will be covered up by cheap afterthoughts? We can make natural syrups, flavored sugars, twill cookies, florentine cookies, and chocolate chard garnishes to improve the pudding. Quality should always be the choice we make, especially for a home coffee bar.